Hey there, fellow thrill seekers. Today, we're delving into the bone-chilling world of a horror film that was inspired by a real-life paranormal case. Brace yourselves as we unravel the eerie events that captivated the world and gave birth to this terrifying cinematic masterpiece. But before we begin, let me ask you, have you ever wondered, what happens when a family's dream turns into a nightmare? Let's find out together. In the year 1971, a brave yet unsuspecting couple, Carolyn and Roger Perron, embark on a journey into the heart of darkness as they set foot in a decrepit, ancient farmhouse nestled in the hauntingly mysterious town of Harrisville, Rhode Island. Alongside their five innocent daughters, they step into a realm where the line between reality and nightmare blurs. As the sun sets on their first day, an eerie presence begins to reveal itself, starting with their loyal canine companion, who refuses to cross the threshold of the house. Little do they know, the true horrors lie hidden within the depths of the cellar, waiting to be discovered. As the family innocently engages in a game of hide and clap, one daughter stumbles upon a forbidden secret, a boarded up entrance, leading to the unknown. With trembling anticipation, they descend into the darkness, only to have their fears confirmed by the flickering light of a match. Nightfall brings a chorus of barks from the restless dog, while one daughter feels an inexplicable force tugging at her very feet, a sinister presence that casts a shadow over their peaceful slumber. As dawn breaks, Carolyn awakens to discover an enigmatic bruise marking her skin, while the lifeless body of their beloved canine companion, Sadie, lies nearby. As the days unfurl, the household becomes a stage for inexplicable phenomena, doors swing open and shut off their own accord. Eerie clapping echoes through empty rooms, and Carolyn is haunted by spectral visions. Nightfall brings even darker disturbances as Cindy, their innocent daughter, ventures into forbidden realms of the subconscious, her actions bordering on the macabre. But the climax arrives with a terrifying encounter as the eldest daughter becomes ensnared in the grip of a malevolent apparition, the visage of an elderly woman twisted with malice. Desperate for answers, Carolyn turns to the renowned investigators, Ed and Lorraine Warren, whose expertise in the occult may hold the key to unraveling the mysteries that plague the Perron family. With Lorraine's keen intuition, they unveil a sinister presence that has tethered itself to the household, setting the stage for a battle against forces beyond mortal comprehension. Yet, the path to salvation is fraught with obstacles, as the Warrens caution that intervention requires the sanction of the church, leaving the family teetering on the precipice of darkness, awaiting the vindication that may come only with the dawn of further evidence and the church's blessing. In their quest to unveil the enigmatic past of the house, Ed and Lorraine delve into the depths of history's darkest secrets, uncovering a tale of malevolence that transcends time itself. The whispers of the past reveal a chilling narrative, the property once belonged to Bathsheba, a figure cloaked in accusations of witchcraft. Her descent into darkness culminated in a gruesome act witnessed by her husband, as she offered her own flesh and blood as a sacrifice to sinister forces. With her final breath, she cast an ominous curse upon all who would dare claim her land, sealing her allegiance to darkness with her own demise. The echoes of her heinous deeds reverberate through the ages, staining the very ground upon which subsequent generations would build their homes, a grim testament to the horrors that linger in the shadows. Returning to the scene of impending terror, Ed and Lorraine stand firm against the encroaching darkness, joined by allies in their battle against the unknown. With meticulous precision, they fortify the battleground with modern contraptions, designed to capture the elusive essence of the supernatural. As the night descends, anticipation hangs heavy in the air, yet the hours pass in eerie silence, defying their expectations. But with the dawn of a new day, a sense of foreboding looms once more, as they gather to break bread amidst the specter of uncertainty. In a moment of gratitude, Roger Perron extends his heartfelt appreciation to Ed, unaware of the toll exacted upon the very soul of his beloved Lorraine with each exorcism performed. Bound by duty and compassion, Ed vows to persevere, even as the shadows threaten to consume them all, their resolve tested against the relentless march of darkness. As the veil of night descends once more, the atmosphere thickens with anticipation, obscuring the boundaries between the tangible and the unseen. In the heart of the darkness, Cindy succumbs to the siren call of sleepwalking, her nocturnal journey captured by vigilant thermal cameras that bear witness to the chilling anomaly unfolding. A palpable chill envelopes the air as she ventures towards the ominous wardrobe, a portal to realms unknown, only to be ensnared as its doors slam shut, sealing her fate within its sinister embrace. With a surge of urgency, the others breach the confines of the room, unraveling the veil of secrecy to reveal a hidden passage concealed behind the facade of mundane furniture. 
but the descent into the unknown takes an unexpected turn as Lorraine, driven by an unyielding intuition, ventures forth into the abyss, only to plummet into the depths of the cellar below. There, amidst the shadows, she confronts the spectral remnants of Bathsheba's sinister machinations. A revelation that pierces the veil of ignorance and exposes the true horror lurking in the shadows, a malevolent entity, hell-bent on wielding the essence of motherhood as a weapon of destruction. Emerging from the depths of the cellar, Lorraine and Ed bear the weight of revelation, armed with the damning evidence that demands action. With resolve forged in the crucible of adversity, they seek sanctuary for the imperil Perron family, guiding them to the fragile refuge of a hotel sanctuary. Yet, their respite is fleeting, shattered by the abrupt return of Carolyn, a vessel teetering on the brink of madness, her descent into darkness heralded by the chilling glint of a pair of scissors, poised for bloodshed. In the crucible of chaos, Ed's resolve is tested as he stands against the tide of malevolence, forced to wield the tools of exorcism in the absence of divine intervention. Amidst the cacophony of anguish, he grapples with the forces of darkness, each incantation a desperate plea for salvation, as the fate of an embattled soul hangs in the balance. In a fleeting moment of respite, Carolyn's struggles subside, hinting at the possibility of victory in the battle against the malevolent force that ensnares her soul. Yet, the calm is shattered as chaos reigns once more, her world upturned as chairs defy gravity and she is suspended in a grotesque inversion of reality. Ed's voice pierces the tumult, a desperate plea to the unseen entity that holds her fate in its grasp. As tension mounts, Carolyn is released from her harrowing ordeal, but the victory is hollow as she utters words that chill the soul, she's already gone. Amidst the chaos, Drew's discovery sends shockwaves through the besieged sanctuary, unraveling the fragile threads of hope that bind them. His call echoes through the depths, a beacon of terror that rouses the dormant evil lurking within Carolyn's fragile vessel. With grim determination, Ed, Lorraine, and Roger ascend the stairs, their footsteps a symphony of defiance against the encroaching darkness. As the possessed Carolyn hurtles towards her prey, a frantic pursuit ensues, leading them into the depths of the unknown. In a moment of reckoning, Lorraine's voice cuts through the cacophony, a plea to the fractured soul trapped within the grip of malevolence. With each word, she lays bare the depths of familial love, a beacon of light amidst the suffocating darkness. Miraculously, Carolyn's torment ebbs, her features softened by the tendrils of memory and love. In the fading shadow of demonic influence, she relinquishes her hold on April, a testament to the enduring power of love in the face of unspeakable evil. The setting shifts to a radiant morning, where Carolyn emerges from the threshold of the front door, bathed in the golden hues of dawn. As she steps into the embrace of sunlight, a miraculous transformation unfolds before their eyes, the bruises that marred her skin vanish into oblivion, restoring her to her former self. In the warmth of familial embrace, Roger and Carolyn stand united with their loved ones, a beacon of triumph amidst the lingering shadows of adversity, their joy palpable as they bask in the knowledge that the nightmare has finally come to an end. With the specter of darkness vanquished from the Perron household, the Warrens retreat to the sanctuary of their own abode. In a solemn ritual, Ed navigates the labyrinthine corridors of his collection, a repository of malevolent relics and haunted artifacts. With measured reverence, he adds the old music box from their latest conquest to its rightful place among the macabre assembly. Yet, as the echoes of their ordeal fade into memory, a chilling reminder of the supernatural lingers in the air. As the music box stirs to life of its own accord, a sinister melody weaving through the silence, the camera's gaze fixates on the mirrored surface, capturing a reflection that defies explanation. In the twilight realm between reality and the unknown, the music fades to silence, leaving behind a lingering sense of unease in its wake.